Howdy, y'all. Maurice must. What the? Uh, uh, psh, ah! Yeah, um. Let's start that again. Here at Junction 617, killing time on my CB. Now, I don't know how far this transmission goes. I don't know what dimension or reality it goes through. It's like all I know is that it goes somewhere. And someone's hearing it somewhere out in the universe or world, whatever that is. But, uh, at, at any rate, um, I just wanted to recall this uh, poem. It's called My Brave Veteran Soldier Eyes. Got me through a lot of stuff. Author's name is Claude Robert Hill, the fourth. The veteran's soul lives on always. Papa fought in the extreme cold. Memories of you and me steals his companion nightmares on battling scenes. All those firing bullets rage on in waves of saturated hate. Couldn't even seal his fate. His best friends, his very respected mates, succumb to untimely fates. He heard within himself, in the context of his heart, these words saying, America, America, how shall I fight to defend your free? Give me that enduring faith of your old liberty. If I lay down, my heart beats for thee. Just don't forget I die for my mighty country. As he heard the grenades burst, he continued to run into harm's way. And then one bullet pronounced him dead. The picture page flips to his honored grave. His loving wife and daughter of eight hold together his hero's American flag in their shared hands. Their tears respectively fall on that precious American flag. That flag. That powerful receipt represented that he had died for the ideals of his homeland. As his family walks away, dressed in the silhouette garb of grieving ways, you could hear the song of America the Beautiful. The beautiful song permeating in the halo whispers of his warrior's grave. Even to this moment, where we honor and celebrate him and all veterans on Veterans Day, I love you are fallen and those still alive. You are my brave veteran, soldier eyes. That's my exit. I'm out of here. Yeah, that one got me through some stuff. Oh, I, I'm going to miss my pass. See you later. Maurice Monroe, signing off.